Hi guys, my name is Nina and today on my YouTube channel we're going to be talking about Tania Versicolor, which I think is often confused for eczema. So I think it's really important for us to talk about it because I know there's probably a ton of black girls watching, brown girls watching, and you're wondering, is this eczema? What is this? Just like I was. So I'm just going to tell you guys like, how I found out I had it, what worked, and like what didn't work because it really has been such a process for me to figure out what what is this, like what's on my skin. So yeah, let's just hop right into it. Okay, so I found out that I had Tania Versicolor probably when I was like 16, 17 because one day I just realized while I was putting on lotion that there was something weird on my back. And I only figured it out because I think my sister came into the room and she was like, what is that? I said, what is she What is she chatting about? And she took a video for me and I seen that my back was discolored. It looked like dry patches, but it was just all over the top half of my back. So obviously I was concerned and I thought, you know, maybe this is eczema because when I was a kid, I used to get eczema and my mom would try all these different lotions and creams to get rid of it and eventually it went away. So that's what I thought it was and come to find out, that's not what it was, girl. That, <laughs> that was not what it was. Okay, so I ended up trying a few different things to see if it would make it go away. Um, I tried Neosporin and I tried something else. Like the name isn't coming to me, but if I remember it, I'm gonna add it down below um and i was pretty consistent with it because i was trying to get this stuff off my back and nothing worked and at some point i had started becoming really like insecure about it because you just have dry patches on your back and i was somebody who wore a ton of crop tops i wore a ton of swimsuits i remember someone was coming up because i was like oh my god i'm gonna have to cover up because it's so apparent on my back like you can't miss it i'm a brown girl you're going to see dry patches on my skin. So it was really worrisome. And there was nothing I could do about it at that point because nothing was working. And I didn't even know what it was. So I ended up doing some research, right? And I was putting in like some of my symptoms. Like, here's what it was. I have dry patches on my back. They kind of showed up out of nowhere. And come to find out, Tania Versicolor is extremely common. And like I said, I think the reason why a lot of people don't realize they have it is because eczema is more popular and more well known. So people often think, oh, this is eczema. And then they're trying all these creams and lotions or whatever, and it's not working because it's not eczema. <laughs> it's not eczema. So Tania Versicolor just had happened to be something that came up and I was reading up on it and looking at it. I was like, oh my God, that's what I got. That's what I got. And it's funny because when you look it up on like Google, you don't see a ton of brown or black people. You just see the condition on white skin. So I had to second guess myself a little bit. I'm like, ah, I don't know. But then when they talked about like those dry patches, because it's like white, it shows up like very whitish on your back or wherever it is that it develops. Because apparently, it can develop in other places, it's not your back. So you can end up getting this on your arm or something or another patch of skin, but you know you have it because first, it's persistent, it's not going away. And second, it's noticeable to other people. Like it's there, it's not something you can hide. No, it's there. So I figured out I had it, confirmed I had it. And then I was looking into, okay, so what is gonna work to like minimize? this thing on my back this gigantic monster at this point we won't call it what it is because that's what i thought it was i said this is a monster on my back i am just so embarrassed like my bikinis aren't gonna hit my crop tops aren't gonna hit because i'm gonna have to explain to people yeah i'm working on it i'm working on it and people always have the most extreme reactions when they see it so i <sighs> I was just over it. And honestly, by the time I found out about it, I had already kind of learned to live with it because it's been years now and I've had this on my back. But the things that I found out about 
through a lot of research and Reddit have helped tremendously. Like when I say tremendously, tremendously. So I'm going to show you guys the two things that I would pick up to try. Mind you, I'm not a professional. I don't have no medical degree. I'm just telling you guys what worked for me. So I'm going to show you guys what I have, how I've been using it, and I'm going to put a video of it on so I could show you guys like how it's really gotten better. Okay, guys, so I'm back. The good news is what I'm about to show you guys can be purchased drugstore. So you can find this at like Target, Walmart, um, maybe CVS, maybe Walgreens, but I know for sure Target has it and I know Walmart has it. So the first thing I picked up was this. It looks like this. This is called Selsun Blue. And what it is, it's a moisturizing with aloe um, shampoo. It's a dandruff shampoo. And what makes it so good is the fact that it has sel selenium sulfide 1%. And what I do is I will take this and I will leave it on my back for about 10 to 15 minutes. And you want to be consistent with this. You want to do this a couple times a week. So I'll do it like every other day, 10 to 15 minutes on my back. And it has been showing so much improvement in getting rid of those patches. Um, it's just incredible. But this might not work for some people. Mind you, this doesn't really have like a strong scent. It doesn't feel like it's medicated. But you can feel like a little tingling sensation when you put it on your back. So that's how I know it was working for me. And just the fact that... The patches used to be super patchy, like really dry. You could tell the skin wasn't like getting enough moisture is what it looked like. But I put lotion on my back. I exfoliate. So I know that's not what it was. It was just the condition. So this really helps a lot. And I would say if you're going to use this, I also bought this um, body scrub from Target. And I will exfoliate a few times a week just to make sure that there's, you know, new skin being regenerated. And I will use this. So I try not to exfoliate on the days that I use this. I know it may seem like it's common sense, but people are people. So try not to exfoliate on the days that you use this. Maybe you'll exfoliate a few times a week, maybe two, three times a week. And maybe you'll use this like twice a week. But this is really, really good. Now, this might not be strong enough for certain cases of Tinea Versicolor. So what you might want to do, if you got something that's really persistent and it's not going away, this can also be found at Target. But I have heard, because I haven't touched it yet, I haven't had to, but I bought it just in case, that it's very strong. So I might just go maybe once, maybe every other week along with the Sense of Blue or the Cell Symbol, whatever you call this. So this one is the Nizerol AD and it's anti-dandruff shampoo too. But for some reason, something in it is stronger. I think it's the fact that it has this chemical coda keto console. I don't think I'm saying it right. Keto console shampoo 1%. It looks like this. As you guys can see, it looks a little scarier. The words look a little scarier than the sense than the Selsun Blue. Like this looks like it's more serious than this. So I would be really careful with this. With everything new that you try, I always recommend you do a patch test. See how your skin reacts to it before you like commit to putting something on it. So I would patch test the holy thing out of this like I would not be putting this without a patch test so I'd patch test it do a little section of the versicolor see what it does or do a little section of your inner arm right here see what it does before you put it all over because I would hate for you to have an adverse reaction okay and once again this is a suggestion you try what you want to try but the community of people who have me and Versicolor did say that this is really, really good. If the Selsun Blue is just not doing it for what you got, this will do it. So I did get this. It's non-prescription strength. 
Once again, it is very strong. They have directions on the back and it's meant to be a shampoo. Remember that both of these are shampoos. They just so happen to work really, really well in this condition. And with consistent use, you will see that your condition just happens to fade away with time or become less noticeable. So this is really the two things that I have heard and I have seen personally, especially with the Salsam Blue, that's what I could really speak on, worked for me. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my progress, where I currently am. And I will also ask that um, you guys just follow along for the journey because I'm trying to get rid of this. So I'm gonna do an update. This is the first of a few videos. I'm gonna try to update you guys maybe like a month from now so you guys can see what the consistent usage does to the back um, in my condition. So yeah, it's this one and it is this one. I will include the names of both products in the description box if you guys want to go and pick it up so you guys can try it out. Let me know if you have this condition and if you've tried something that really works for you because honestly, I'm always open to trying something to see if it's gonna work for me too. So let me know in the comments if this is something you struggle with, if you know somebody who struggles with this, how bad is yours? Cause mine, mine was pretty, pretty serious for a couple of years. I'm telling you, it was really like, it was embarrassing. Um, and I'm, I'm cool with it now. Like it don't embarrass me no more, it is what it is. And obviously I'm working on it, but just to tell you guys like this is a thing, okay? So that is it that is all that i have for you guys with this once again i am gonna be doing updates on how my back looks what's going on with it so make sure you check in on my channel turn on your post notifications yes i'm that youtuber turn them on um subscribe below and like this video if you enjoyed this content because i really just want to make sure that if somebody is out there getting this for the first time and you're freaking out because nothing works, that you can find something that works for you because this actually really did work for me. So thank you guys again. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!